Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this vintage Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm going to be showing quite a few. A lot of you will be excited for these because this is a walk down memory lane. It's the Flower Compacts! As you guys have noticed in my videos, I like to showcase toys in sets. So I didn't just want to showcase these individually, but I wanted all the same shape ones to be in the same video. So we are starting with the flower shapes and look how beautiful this is. This is... Let's go through what we have. So here we have Garden Surprise, Midge's Flower Shop, Water Fun Park, Mr. Fry's Restaurant. This one matches my nails and I like fried food. So and Fifi's Parisian apartment. This is a rare one that took me a while to get, so I'm very happy that I have this because this was the last one that I acquired to complete the set. Let's have a look at the Polly Pocket flower shaped compacts from 1990. These are all the vintage Polly Pocket flower compacts. These are all from 1990, so this is straight up early 90s. Of course, all the logos have been beautifully restored using my vinyl method. I just love my vinyl method because I think it's a lot more shiny than the original logo. I do sell these stickers now on my website, kirchi.com. So if you guys are interested in adding these to your Polly Pockets, the link is in the description. They have the iconic flower shape, hence the name. I don't know if that's their official name, maybe they're clovers, but they have too many petals to be clovers. I don't know. I'm just calling them flowers. As usual, we are starting with the pink one. There are two pink ones here, so I'm picking the pinkest pink. This one is called Mr. Fry's Restaurant. I just love how vintage this looks. I cannot believe that this is 31 years old. I feel really old realizing how old this is. I love the very soft colors that they used. I noticed that there's a lot of pastel colors in the vintage Polly Pockets. This is obviously restaurant themed because of the name Mr. Fry's Restaurant. Down here we have a cute little mint green door and it opens up right into the restaurant. This is the dining area. There are two tables and chairs and the tables are filled with delicious food. It looks like a salad, maybe some steak. There's a beautiful hand-painted rug over here. It actually does look like it's hand-painted, maybe watercolors. There's more food up here. Maybe this is some kind of buffet. I'm not sure what this area is, but it looks like it might be the register. Then up here, we have more dining areas. We also have a kitchen up here where all the food gets made. This looks more like a typical date night setting. There's a fireplace, there's a booth for two people. Valentine's Day is coming up, so this is very fitting. Then we have these double doors, which is the entrance to the special dining area. Or this might be the entrance to the actual restaurant, but we also have a gate here, which is the entrance to the restaurant. Well, I guess we can enter the restaurant in two ways. I know I've complained about how simple the modern Polly Pockets are, and looking at this, this is pretty simple. We can see less detail than we normally would with a vintage Polly Pocket, but the reason why this still looks really charming and beautiful is because every single element has been painted. For example, the little handles here have been painted, where with a modern Polly Pocket, that would probably have been all yellow to match the background. The pots and pans, the seasoning, they're all painted, even the individual knobs on the stove. That's what I try to achieve with my Polly Pocket repaints. So this is a great example of how painting each element can give this lots of details. Now it's time to meet the adorable tiny characters. First, we have Mr. Fry himself, owner, connoisseur, restaurateur, entrepreneur. Really, he's got it going on. He's wearing the most adorable outfit with a little bow tie and a chef's hat because he is the head chef and owner. I love his little mustache. We don't get a lot of male Polly Pocket characters, so when we do, they're always so adorable and extra special. Then we have Dishy, who is a server at the restaurant. She's the only employee too, so you better give her lots of tips because she works very hard. It looks like she has a classic diner uniform, but she also kind of looks like a French maid. I guess the black and white with the hat is throwing me off a little bit. Next is the second pink one. This is called Garden Surprise and it's one of my favorite ones from the set.
Detail-wise, this is so different than Mr. Fry's restaurant that it's hard to believe they're from the same year. This is packed with so many details, beautiful colors, textures. It reminds me of the book, The Secret Garden. I've also seen a couple movies. One is animated and one is live action. And this compact captured both of those movies perfectly. On the bottom, we are in the actual garden. We have lots of gorgeous flowers all around here. Different kinds too. I can see roses. This looks like a sunflower or maybe a daisy. There's a bunny, how cute. Gorgeous stone textures all around here. All around the path too. We have a beautiful koi pond. I love how the pond is outlined by even more stones. It reminds me of my latest Polly Pocket repaint. There's a sundial here. I don't know if every garden has one. I don't have a garden. I've never really been to a garden. Actually, I went to a Japanese garden back in college and I didn't see a sundial. There's a merry-go-round here. This also spins and when this spins, the path moves and the bunny moves and the flowers also move. There he goes, there's the flower. This is actually extremely hard to turn because the hinge is so tight, but you get the idea, the little flowers and bunny go up and down. On this side, we have a relaxation area. Those garden chairs have so much detail and they look so cute. We're also having some tea and mini sandwiches. There are also garden tools right down here. I even love the yellow fence in the background. Everything about this just looks so cozy and cute. I can see myself living here as long as I don't have to tend to my own plants because I will probably accidentally kill them. Going up the stairs, we get to the second level. I just wanna appreciate the stairs real quick because I love the stone textures on these. They just went all out with textures everywhere. Another beautiful garden bench. It even has a little heart. In the windows, we can see some flowers. Here's a lion statue. At least I think it's a lion statue. I hope it's not some trapped ghost. We also see some leaves through this little tiny circular window. And we have vines and leaves all around here. Some birds up here, just having a good time. And through these big yellow doors, we see our gigantic, gorgeous pink mansion. I love that it's pink because it's like they made this just for me. Here are the characters. First, we have Polly in her beautiful gardening outfit. I love her classic outfit, but I also love seeing her in different outfits. This one has polka dots, she has bright green shoes, and she has this gardening hat, which is so cute. It has a purple bow. And we also get this statue. She is completely white. I'm very tempted to paint some colors on her, but I know she's supposed to be a statue. I have this fear of statues because I feel like they will come to life when I'm not looking, or maybe when I am looking, which is even worse. She kinda looks like she'll come to life and and haunt my nightmares. Up next is this bright powder blue compact called Midge's Flower Shop. This looks a lot like the garden one we just saw. It's like this one is a muted version of this one. We have the cutest gate over here with a heart on it. I just love hearts. I'm obsessed with hearts and heart-shaped things. When we open this up, we get to the garden. The other garden we saw is more realistic and this one looks a lot more fantasy, playful. I love the psychedelic designs here. There's a cute mushroom here. We also have a slide which adds to the playfulness of this compact. And we have lots of pastel bushes and flowers. There's also a teeny tiny bench right in the bushes. That looks so cozy and adorable. We have some stairs here which are so creative and cute. And we get to the actual flower shop. We have a huge selection of plants and flowers here, most of which I will definitely kill because I'm not very good with plants. I did buy some roses, which are still alive, but I think that has more to do with the type of rose it is. I'm not even gonna attempt to name all the plants that she has here, but I do see some familiar ones. We have a cactus, we have some succulents, and that's about all I know. Over here, more plants. We also have a little parrot friend. And over here, she has what appears to be a throne because she is the queen of flowers and plants. 
There's the register here. Whenever I see a register now on any compact, I immediately think of Shopkins, even though I know Shopkins was inspired by Polly Pockets. These are the characters, which are very colorful and vibrant. They stand out quite a bit compared to the compact. We have Midge, of course. She is the star of this compact. This is her flower shop. She's an independent businesswoman. I love her outfit. She's wearing overalls and I love her blue bandana. Then we have Titch. It's not clear whether or not Titch is a boy or a girl. I think they're ambiguous. I also love their outfit. I think it's very simple and kind of reminiscent of those little tight toys. Any character that wears a hat as well, I just absolutely love it. Up next, we have this green one called Water Fun Park. This is so fun. I can already see a couple cute elements. Down here, we have a gigantic pool. There's a couple floaties here. There's a diving board. I love the tile textures that they added all around here. And there's a cute little elephant. There's also a spa area here, a beach towel, and a ladder. This reminds me of The Sims where I used to make a pool and remove the ladder so that my Sims would drown. It's just a game, not real life. I also love these wavy textures. There's some scratches here that I was gonna repaint, but matching the exact blue is very tricky. So I'm gonna wait another time to do that when I have more patience. When I do my repaints or my crafting videos, people like to tell me that I must have a lot of patience, but I actually do not. I am probably one of the most impatient people you will ever meet. Kind of like when I realized Dr. Seuss hated kids. It's one of those ironic things, I guess. Then up here, we see this giant slide. This comes down all the way to the pool. There's also this clown slide. He looks pretty disturbing. I'm not scared of clowns actually because, funny story, I was once hit on by a clown in his full-on clown outfit and everything. I didn't know him, didn't know his face. He was entertaining some kids. He saw me. He asked me out. It was very awkward. So whenever I see a creepy clown, I just think of that moment and I start to laugh. Again, I love the use of hearts all around these designs. And we have a shower so we can wash off all the chlorine after we go swimming. And here's a locker with some shampoo, it looks like. Of course, after we swim, we gotta eat because swimming is an exercise and we'll be hungry afterwards. But we can't eat then swim because we'll get cramps. The slide also attaches to this little divot here. I just love when things fit perfectly. And here are the characters in their swimwear. Here is Polly and she looks so different. I don't know if it's her hairstyle, but she kind of looks like a baby version of herself. At first I thought she was a toddler, but this is Polly. This is Chelsea, and you might have seen her in my restoration video. That video was also featured on Art Insider, so if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. I did my best to restore her, and her face ended up looking kind of wonky because if you watch the restoration video, her face was very, very chipped. So I couldn't do my scratching method to get the mouth just right. Otherwise, I would scratch her entire face off. But I think she looks pretty decent, and I did my best. Sometimes that's all we can do. And last one is Fifi's Parisian Apartment, which is my second favorite one from the set. This one comes in this classy blue color. I don't even know what kind of blue this is, what name it is. I just really love the shade of blue. And that's coming from someone who's pretty loyal to pink. This looks so classy and cozy, especially the architecture up here. Down here, we have a garden, which is our third garden in the set. Right away, I see this giant doghouse. It looks so cozy in there. We also have this green rocking chair and a snacking area because we gotta have our snacks. We wouldn't be in Paris if we didn't have pastries and baguettes. On this side, we have a fountain, a little angel statue, and over here, it says Metro. I don't really know what this is. I know Metro is a subway station. Maybe it's the gateway to the subway station. Then up these stairs, we get to 
her actual apartment. This is so breathtakingly beautiful. I love these doors so much and I know that my mom who watches all my videos will love it too because this is her favorite color. The doors don't actually open, but we can still appreciate the architecture. There's some stained glass windows. We can see some curtains through the windows, some lounge chairs right over here. I love these columns. I think it makes this compact look super fancy. The designs here too are so beautiful. This balcony is just everything. It's so gorgeous. We can see the Eiffel Tower right from our apartment because we're fancy like that. Even the plants and this little pot here, they just look so, so gorgeous. These are the characters, and yes, we get two cute little poodles. This is Miss Fifi, and she is a socialite. She's the talk of the town. Everyone wants to be her. Everyone wants to look like her. She's basically Blair Waldorf. I just love her outfit. I especially love her giant hat, and she's even got a little purse. Then we have her French poodles, Henrietta and Henry. I love their little pompadours. was just hit with extreme nostalgia after seeing these. If I could describe the feeling that I get when I look at these Polly Pockets, I would say warm, fuzzy. I'm taken back to a simple time where I don't really have any problems, I don't have bills to pay, I don't have a job, I can just play with toys all day and not worry about anything. But that's not necessarily true because even as kids we worried about stuff and our problems seemed a lot bigger than they really are. But Polly is here to remind us that everything will be okay, the good stuff is still around, she continues to bring us joy even to this day. There are many other shapes, we have stars, pentagons, octagons, circles, hearts, and I will be showcasing those, absolutely, of course. Sometimes it takes a while to complete a set, but I am a stickler for these things, I can't help it, I have to show them in a set like this. So thank you for your patience. I have lots more to show you guys. These would make really cute sunglasses. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase, and I'll see you on the next one.